find a spot here on the floor with your towel, you know, beach towel thing. Uh, of course, little towel, jacket, whatever. All right, for today, it's okay. Uh, but for the regular class, you want something that's kind of big and spacious so you can stretch out well, okay? All right, and have your workout clothes. Uh, and then we're going to go through a series of just exercises together, some stretches and some strengthening things, just to kind of help us focus ourselves into the class. We're going to end that series of exercises with one exercise that we all kind of do together, okay? Uh, and that exercise is called the Completo Exercise. Uh, and the Completo Exercise is actually from uh, Psychocalisthenics, from Oscar Michazzo. And it's developed as sort of a yoga-ish type of breathing work, okay? Uh, and some of you, if you've done yoga before, you might be familiar with it. Other names have been worshiping the sun or welcoming the morning. Those are some other terms I've heard people use for the same series of movements. So we're going to finish that way because I think it's important that when we come into an acting class, we uh, begin to understand there's an element of ritual that happens here. Okay? There's an element of discovery here. And we all have to kind of work together as an ensemble. And so by doing something in a routine fashion together, helps build that relationship with each other. Does that make sense? Okay, and helps kind of uh, focus us into the, into the exercise of the day. Okay, now when we're finished with class, I'm going to introduce something uh, as well today that I want us to do from now on. Uh, we have been uh, discovering for a long time, for years, that we spend a lot of time as actors preparing for a role. Right, we spend a lot of time preparing for a role. We can play, memorizing my lines, understanding the character, rehearsing, da 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 da. But we don't spend a lot of time learning how to let go of the character. Does that make sense? We don't really spend a lot of time doing that. Our traditional training, uh, American theater training, we don't really go into that. Other kinds of training you might see that even in martial arts, for example. After the class is over, you leave the space, you turn to the space, and you bow, and then you step backwards and you walk away. And it's just such, sort of like just a little gesture to say, I work very hard, and thank you, and I respect the space, right? Little rituals that people do. Uh, and I would like to begin to do that with us uh, as actors. I think it's important uh, to understand that when we're finished, even if we had the best day, it was a fun day, or a really sad day, it was a dramatic day, that whatever we've done, we leave it in the space. We leave it here. And we don't take it home with us. Okay? And it's a good habit to start learning now. When we get to acting two, and I don't know how many of you are going to to take acting two, but in acting two, we really spend a lot of time on this concept because in acting two, we're going to work on actual scripted scenes. We do scene analyses and scene study here in acting one, but we don't deal with what I call like hardcore script analyses and, and scripted scenes from plays. Uh, and those scripts have some pretty intense content into them. They're very challenging. Uh, and so, uh, a lot of times, because we're also dealing with our emotions, okay, with these scripts, uh, I have seen where some students can sometimes carry that mood that they have created in that scene when they leave the door. Does that make sense? Like I'll see that they still are sort of harboring that emotion or that quality that they experienced. Like maybe it was an angry scene that they had and they're out there and they're, People ask me, well, I don't know. You know, they're kind of snippy and, and irritable. And they may not have been that way when they first walked into the room, but they're still carrying over elements of that scene. And on a small scale, it's not so bad. But when you're dealing with like a full production where you're really absorbed in the play and you're doing this for several weekends to weeks to, hey, you're on Broadway years, you keep playing that role, you know, it's, at some point, you. <laughs> You may be toying between fantasy and reality. Who knows, okay? Uh, and so it's a good habit to start now in acting one uh, to learn a little technique that we call the step out. And the step out uh, was uh, 
I don't want to say necessarily created by, because there are elements that you might recognize again from other kinds of movement uh, and other kinds of exercises, but it was um, um, adopted specifically uh, by Susanna Block, who is the creator of the ALBA emoting technique, which is an acting technique that we actually spend a lot of time uh, exploring in acting two. Okay, so in this class, I'm kind of introducing you to that concept of the step out. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, for anything that we do in this class, any kind of exercise, it's only going to work if you commit yourself to it. So today, we're just going to kind of walk through a few of these things uh, so we can introduce ourselves to, to what it is. But until you allow yourselves to completely be absorbed in the moment, it just becomes like that, you know, nothing. It, it just becomes a visual movement that you're doing for me. So when you start surrendering your mind, when you start not thinking about what you're necessarily doing because you're so used to it, that it becomes ingrained in you and your breath starts to relax and you start to focus and you start to really think about where you are and where you're going, that's a good place to be, okay? So if today it doesn't feel like that, that's all right. It's the first time we're doing this together, okay? So let me get everybody to stand up. Okay. So for now, let's do a little bit of a stretch. Okay, just a little bit of stretch.